and other important grown-ups in our students' lives. It's time to get on learning now. We have lots of learning to do. Here's a secret. I bet that you didn't know your kids need you as much as peanut butter needs jelly, cookies need milk, and hot dogs need mustard, not ketchup. FYI, never put ketchup on your hot dog. Come on, we live near Chicago. It's just not right. Since our kids especially need to succeed in school, our school district 163 leaders are here to offer you some important tips for the school year. Make sure your child has a quiet, well-lit place to do homework. Avoid having your child do homework with the television on or in places with other distractions, such as people coming and going. Make sure the materials your child needs, such as paper, pencils, and a dictionary, are available. Ask your child if special materials will be needed for some projects and get them in advance. Help your child with time management. Establish a set time each day for doing homework. Don't let your child leave homework until just before bedtime. Think about using a weekend morning or an afternoon for working on big projects, especially if the project involves getting together with classmates. Be positive about homework. Tell your child how important school is. The attitude you express about homework will be the attitude your child acquires. When your child does homework, you do homework. Show your child that the skills they are learning are related to things you do as an adult. If your child is reading, you read too. If your child is doing math, balance your checkbook. When your child asks for help, provide guidance, not answers. Giving answers means your child will not learn the material. Too much help teaches your child that when the going gets rough, someone will do the work for him or her. When the teacher asks that you pay, play a role, in homework, do it. Cooperate with the teacher. It shows your child that the school and home are a team. Follow the directions given by the teacher. If homework is meant to be done by your child alone, stay away. Too much parent involvement can prevent homework from having some positive effects. Homework is a great way for kids to develop independent, lifelong learning skills. Stay informed. Talk with your child's teacher. Make sure you know the purpose of homework and what your child's class rules are. Help your child figure out what is hard homework and what is easy homework. Have your child do the hard work first. This will mean he will be most alert when facing the biggest challenges. Easy material will seem to go fast when fatigue begins to set in. During dinner, talk about how many bowls to put out for dinner. Fold napkins in different shapes or have your child help measure ingredients for recipes. While shopping, give your child change to count out to pay for small purchases. Have older children calculate the change, compare prices, weigh food items and multiply per pound, or have your child count similar items as you put away groceries. Activities. Open a pack of Skittles or M&Ms and make a bar graph showing the number of each color found inside the pack. Track the scores of ball games played by your favorite team and graph these scores over a period of several weeks or review math facts at home, in the car, waiting in line, or during other downtime. A student who reads 20 minutes per day will be exposed to 1,800,000 words per year. Scores in the 90th percentile on standardized tests are more likely. A student who reads 5 minutes per day will be exposed to 282,000 words per year. Scores in the 50th percentile on standardized tests are more likely. A student who reads 1 minute per day will be exposed to 8,000 words per year. Scores in the 10th percentile on standardized tests are more likely. Reading regularly at home provides children with the practice they need to become great readers. Remember, the more children read, the better they read. Reading at home reinforces a positive attitude about reading. Children will start to really enjoy reading. Make a special reading spot at home for your child. 
By designating a special reading spot for your child, you're creating a distraction-free zone where children can concentrate. The reading spot should be rid of any extraneous noise, toys, etc. Putting some pillows or a comfy chair in the corner of the living room and surrounding the area with books is a great use of space. Be a great reading partner. Building trust and supporting a child reader is crucial as a reading partner. Here are some tips for becoming a great reading partner. Be patient and encouraging. Read aloud and track the words with your fingers as you are reading. Read the same stories over and over. Try reading in different voices to make it fun and interesting. Ask questions about the story while you're reading to gauge comprehension. Pick books that are at the right level for your younger readers. Remember, five or more mistakes on one page is too hard and no mistakes or only one mistake per page is too easy. Surround your child with books. Research shows that the number of books in the home is a strong indicator for reading achievement and educational attainment. When children have access to books in their home, they become familiar with books and the act of reading. This will give them a big head start. Bring books everywhere. Place books in every room of the house, in the car, and take books wherever you go. Set a good example. Read every day in front of your child. Turn off the TV and read together as a family. Communicate with your child's teacher and get involved in school. Maybe volunteer to read to children or listen to children read. Students love seeing their parents at school. Have you checked out our district app? It's available to download from the App Store or Google Play. Each school's information is right at your fingertips. On the district app, you can view live feeds of what is going on at the district office in each school. On the school district website, www.sd163.com, first click on the website menu, then click on Parents. There, you'll find lots of resources to help your child succeed academically. Did you get all of that? Were you taking notes? Hope this was helpful, guys.